Okay, next back to do another energy update for the sign of cancer. Just keep in mind these are general readings. They're not going to resonate for all of you. But for the ones that it does resonate for, please like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. For those of you interested in a personal reading with me, all the information will be in the description box below. For those of you that would like to donate to my GoFundMe campaign, that link is also in the description box below. Alright, so let's see what's coming through here for the sign of Cancer for the 12th through to the 13th of December 2020. Okay. So you seem to be in some type of utter distress, worry, anxiety over some type of love relationship that is very new. Something and someone that you're not figuring out or realizing that you are in love with someone. It is causing you to feel a lot of lack and a lot of stress. Which is not normally how someone feels when they realize that they are in love with someone else. But it would seem that this person may be quite intuitive. Maybe older than you for some of you. But you're trying to seek out some type of advice when it comes to this connection and how you feel. That is definitely going to give you a mindset change. Or for some of you, it is going to have to be an actual move. To another state, to another place. That sort of thing. But this relationship, though it's very new, it's very intoxicating. It's something that you really do want. And you're worried that you're falling too quickly. And you feel like this person is going to hurt you eventually. At least that is one of your fears. Hmm. So you're scared about the relationship and if it's going to work out. And you're studying if this person will give you the type of stability that you want or that you need in your life. There is good potential in this relationship. It is the fire that would light you up in a way that you have never imagined. This person is your ultimate wish fulfillment. Could be an Aquarius for some of you. But this love that you feel for this person is spiritually guided. It is a new beginning for you. So there is no need for you to be worried and anxious. It is like whatever you are seeing, it is real. You could be connecting to a Gemini, Libra or Aquarius, but this person is very direct in their communication. They say exactly how they feel. They say exactly what they're going to do. And there is never a doubt when it comes to this individual. They make you really happy. There is a lot about this connection that really lights up your life in a way that it, nothing else ever has. You really do want commitment with this person. You want long-term stability. You want to be loyal to this person. You want the whole nine yards with this individual. You don't have to worry because this is actually your relationship. They are coming back around to you, for those of you that you are in separation. This is a spiritual union that is spiritually guided and things will definitely work out for you. Could be a Sagittarius you're connecting to, but luck is definitely on your side. Things are definitely moving in your favor this time around. So you guys had a fight. There was an ending. Who doesn't? What relationship doesn't have its occasional ups and downs? You believe that this relationship was over, they believe that. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But someone wants to move very quickly here and return to you. Because the cycle is not ended yet between the both of you. As regards to offering love, you may not do that forthright. 
you may not tell them how you feel but you're actually willing to come towards them truthfully and not be you know so shady and sneaking around and being deceptive you want to be straightforward you want to be open with this person you want to just be out there with them because they are your star yeah but sometimes you just feel this lack of things working out you feel like this person is going to ups and leave you and that what that is what makes you scared could be dealing with a capricorn for some of you but you try not to focus on it or obsess about it too much but that is your fear you're afraid that this person will leave you will walk away from you will leave you out in the cold so you come across as defensive you try to stand your ground and you try to be defensive against this person yeah could be a taurus Virgo, capricorn but you want to commit to this individual you want to build something with this individual you want to be stable with them but you're afraid of this connection and this relationship you're afraid because it is everything you have ever wanted this person is everything you have ever needed but for some of you there is a third party here and that is what scares you the fact that you may be in a connection with someone else but you just can't get this person off of your mind there is just this attraction and this pull towards this individual that you've never felt before sometimes you feel like this person is deceiving you and lying to you and doesn't really want a relationship with you you feel like this person may be playing games or is with someone else Actually, if you are in a connection with somebody, that has definitely disconnected because I don't feel a third party energy here. It just seems to be two, two energies I'm picking up on, but there is a suspicion of a third one. You have a choice to make between a relationship that brings you a lot of happiness, a lot of love, that you're pulled towards this person in an insane way, it is universal guided so it is not something that could easily be ignored could be a gemini for some of you but you are afraid to take charge of the situation you're afraid to commit your all to this individual and then it doesn't work out could be a sagittarius you're dealing with or you could have it in your chart but you feel like this person is playing a game with you Because you want a new beginning in love with this person. But the feeling is mutual, cancer. It is a soulmate connection. It is one that will be very loving. But if you keep being afraid and not offering that cup, nothing will change on your end. Change needs to happen here. The way you approach this situation, the way you look at this situation, the way you look at this person you just can't say no to this person you just want a new beginning in love with this person you want this person to be all about you but you're trying to let go of the control issues that you are having that this person or this fear that this person would leave could be a leo you're connecting to i'm sorry could be a libra you're connecting to but you feel like things will not work out between you and them. Because you feel that this person may be playing games with you and not really wanting anything stable or, or grounded with you. But they see you as their ultimate wish fulfillment. They see you just the way you see them. It is an equal, reciprocated relationship. The same insecurities you have, it seems that this person has the same insecurities. But they are still going to decide to come towards you. Whether you believe it's manipulative or not, or you're afraid to give the relationship a chance, this person is on their way to you, and I see you reciprocating this relationship. So it will work out whether you're in doubt or not. Because this relationship is supposed to happen and it is going to happen because it is divinely guided. And
Hmm. Okay. So it's my guide said that you cannot run from destiny. Whatever that means. Yeah. You are going to get your wishes fulfilled. Luck is definitely on your side this time around. This person is coming back into you. But you have to decide if you're going to make a new way or if it's going to end the same way. There is some self-doubting and self-loading that you have to definitely let go of. But this person is ready to actually be with you 100% and be vulnerable with you. You need to take a closer look at the relationship and realize that you need to change your perspective on the person and the relationship in general. But this is a spiritually guided connection. So whether you run, it will happen. This is destined to happen. All right. So this is what I have for you guys. I hope it helps. Have a good one.